Is there a beast of Burford? That's the, that's the main um, <laughs> There was definitely, for four or five years, in about 2005 onwards, we were getting two good sightings a week. Because I should say, well, obviously, for anyone listening, we are two miles from Burford. Uh, yeah. So they could have been walking well, outside they, they this window at one point. from the pub, didn't they? I admit it was a long range. Uh, but my first, what got me going on the big cats was, um, there was a shootout in Cornwall Manor, just outside Chipping Norton, and they were pushing a couple of acres of canary grass out and the deer came tearing out and 150 pheasants lifted at one go. And John the keeper was up, up with the guns and he went back to the beaters and he said, oh, deer spoilt that drive, didn't they? And three of the beaters said, no, 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 it was a big cat bigger than a Labrador dog came straight past us. Anyway, John looked him in the eye and said, you've had too much slow, you, haven't you? <laughs> and he said, no, 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 we saw it and the other boys saw it as well. Anyway, that was on the Saturday. On the Monday, the police, um, the wildlife officer at the time was a guy called Percival, phoned him up and said, I understand you had a big cat sighting on Saturday. He said, well, I didn't see it myself, but three of the boys reckon they did. And he said, can I come and see you on Wednesday, if you want? So he comes over and they have a chat about it all and where it was. And John said, uh, why did you want to come see me anyway? He said, on Saturday morning, at the same time, a mile away, just along the main road from the Crosshand pubs, going towards Stowe, a motorist record reported a puma crossing the road in front of them. Mm. So you had the two um, sightings on the same day in the same, within a mile of each other. And yeah, you can understand that. I think the, the problem is, is that everyone who lives in the countryside wants to see it. Well, mm. certainly around yeah, here. I do. I've never yeah, seen it. Yeah. No. Well, that's, I mean, well, you've spent a lot of time look, you know, look, chasing it really, haven't you? Mm. But I mean, I don't know if you've ever read, I've forgotten the book now, The Last of the English Poachers. Yeah. There's, a, there's an account in there of them seeing it. You know, we thought we saw it, obviously, as you know, yeah. when we were younger. Uh, and you came and did a, and a, 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 what a paw print, you know, yeah. did a cast of that. Oh, that's Turned right. Yes, with yeah, the dog, yeah. yeah. And everyone, everyone you talk to around here thinks they've seen the Beast of Burford, but the problem is, is no one ever, it was before smartphones, really. Well, well at least it's been good seen cameras. just the other side of the road here. Uh, Tracy Coombs saw it and watched it for 20 minutes, working its way along the hedge. Not munching a uh, sheep, but I The other thing is, uh, <laughs> these corroborated sightings, Jane Betteridge at Hobsall Farm at Great Chew, she was driving the combine, it was getting late in the afternoon, and she was coming down the hedge towards her. And as they were on a collision course, it started to get nervous. She said it went through the hedge and went down towards... Um, Great Chew's boundary and disappeared over there. And she put a note in the diary, saw Big Cat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Christmas Eve, she was at the school for the nativity play and Paul Snell, who was running the shoot at Great Chew at the time, got chatting to her and said, where are you from? He said, she said, Hobbs Hole Farm. Oh, he said, um, I got a pheasant pen just over the brook, over the river from there. Uh, he said, back in August, he said, I saw a big cat come from your way. Uh, that's interesting. She said, um, do you know the date? He said, no, I don't, but um, it was a Friday. Anyway, she got home, she looked in her diary, saw Big Cat Friday the 23rd. <laughs> so you had the two independent ones on, on the same day in the same place, and it just tied up nicely. Because, well, I mean, people have seen deer in trees and stuff as well, haven't they? And that's oh, sort yeah, of on the same, similar yeah. days when people and have seen... I've got photos of Munt Jack that have been chewed, and that you can see that it pops the vertebrae apart and breaks a neck which is classic big cat kill and yeah, um, yeah. some of them been a bit smelly because it's usually a few days later by the time the word gets around to me on the bush telegraph but the gamekeepers knew i was interested in it and they would ring me up and uh, they probably slung the remains of this munchak in the brambles <laughs> and i find out four or five days later and it's a bit fly blown and smelly yeah. but we always go and have a look and we've had several like that